key handling points on a beast when we're assessing fat. One area is here, over the tail head or tut end. Something that gets really fat starts to build up fat across the tail head there. Whilst we're on this area, this part of a beast or a carcass is called the silver side. And extending from this tail head fat down that silver side there is a seam of fat. I can just feel that seam of fat just starting to build up on that silver side there. That's telling me a width of fat there, such as that, is that that beast is actually ready, reached its full potential and is ready for slaughter. Here as well, so on the flank fat, called the bed fat, is another key area when handling for fat. And over here on the pin bones, the pin bones start to get rounder as that beast starts to finish. When we're looking then a little further forward, so let's move back over towards the loin area. So as I mentioned here, key area is on the tips of the transverse processors. Uh, we handle there for fat. And then on the ribs, put your hand flat on the ribs. You can see on this beast, there's quite a bit of movement there. I can, I can still feel those ribs, but there's a nice cover of fat over those ribs. And then here, across the blade bone, here across the shoulder, you can see there that there is an element of fat there. On something that's really lean, it's hard and sharp. Always take into account as well whether or not a beast is male or female. Females tend to kill out that little bit fatter, so apply that to your judgment overall when assessing a beast for slaughter.